All right, so today we are going to use the Teleteach battery to set the uh, parameters on an HBC 727 radio control here. Uh, I apologize for the lack of cleanliness. This thing's uh, done many years of service. So we're going to come over here to the hand valves on the pump. Okay, so one of our first problems with this thing is, even in rapid speed, some of the sections aren't achieving maximum speed, so it takes too long to fold up. For instance, let's come over here. Our third section here, it's all, it's all stuck. No, it's okay, no, it's nice, it's just a good block. So my third section here, you can see the hand valve, I'm pushing all the way, the hand valve, still has travel. No good. So what I'm going to do here, and you have to have one of these fancy batteries to do this, is a Teleteach battery. You insert it like you normally would any other battery. Now the trick is, it's a plus button and a minus button. Hold down on both while powering up the radio. Once it's powered up, let both buttons go and that actually didn't work because you see it's still flashing slow so we'll do that again power it off e stop in hold both buttons down release the e stop power on and we'll release the buttons and it's still not working that's very odd okay try this one more time power off e stop in Contacts might be dirty with the, uh, the Teleteach battery. Those two contacts there will let the remote know that it actually is a Teleteach battery. And the corresponding contacts in the radio here are covered in dust. So I think that could be our issue. So I've cleaned them off a little bit. Same thing. Hold both buttons down. Release these, stop. Power on. There we go. Now we've got the rapid flash, that lets us know that we're in teach mode. So that was the issue, the contacts from the teach battery were not making contact with the contacts on the radio. Anyhow, now that we've got that achieved, we're gonna activate the remote. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna start at rapid speed. What I'm gonna do, I wanna set the maximum boom speed on that third section. So I'm gonna hold the stick all the way over and I hit the plus button. And I'm just gonna do, I'm not gonna hold it down, I'm gonna do very firm, deliberate, one, two, three, just tap on it to increase the speed. And you'll see as I tap on it, the travel on that hand valve is gonna increase. So here's the stick, all the way open. And watch as I tap this, that hand valve will start to open a little bit more. See that? Still going, perfect. Now we got maximum travel, we'll stop there. Now we'll move that third section in the other way, make sure we're getting maximum travel in that direction too. There we go. Yeah, see there's more to go there, so we'll hold it in. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's still more to go. Six, seven, all right, so now we've set maximum speed on that third section. So we know we're going to get maximum, uh, when we're cooling up, we'll, uh, if the other section's going to move as fast as it mechanically can. So that's what we want, so that one is done. So that's how you set the maximum speeds. Now I'm going to jump over and set in, in uh, snail mode here, and we're going to set our engagement point. Because we run the boom in snail mode 90% of the time, this is the most important one to set. It's my, I consider the most critical setting. 
So what I want to do here, I'll set the left light on this, the slewing, because the slewing on this is actually quite touchy. The way it is now, when I lean in, if you look at the valves there, it's going to be this, this valve here for the slewing. Still, I just, I just touch it and it's not very progressive. So what I want to do is I want to slow down that engagement, make it more progressive. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the minus button here. I'll find that engagement point. One, two, three. This is a little bit tricky to do, so, so I've slowed it down by three pushes. And I'll go the other way. One, two, three. And once I've done that, I'll go over the boom here, and we'll see how that feels. That there is a lot more progressive. So I'm happy with that. Before I would just just touch the stick and it would jump in. It was, it was tough to be smooth on the left right. Same thing here. See how nice and progressive that is? So a lot of this is done by looking at the hand valve. But also, once you've done tuning from the hand valve, play around with the boom a bit and see how it feels out there. It's unfortunate on some of the older radios, the older Omnex boxes they actually had an LED bar graph and you can kind of see visually how much you were changing the settings just by how the LEDs moved around. On these HBCs it's basically all done by eye so there's quite a bit to it. It's tough to get them perfect, especially in, in one go, it does take some time. So the other thing I'm going to do here, in turtle, I'm going to set the maximum speed for slewing. So right now, actually getting full slewing when it's in snail. We don't want that. We want it to be about 50% of what it is in rabbit. So I'm going to have to do quite a bit of tuning on this. Make sure nobody's in the way. And I'll crank it hard over and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably have to give it about 10 to 15 taps here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that hardly did anything. We'll go back the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that helped us a little bit. Go back this way again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go back this way. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's just check on this. So if we're going left, now we're still about 80%. Going right, now we're still about 90. So I'm actually gonna do what I said not to do at the start of the video. These are so far out of whack, I'm actually gonna just hold down on that minus button until the thing slows down. So here we go, holding down. There we go. We'll come back the other way, I'll do the same. Holding down. There we go, let's try this now. Okay, that's good, that's about 50%. That's what we want. And the other way? Yeah, it's about 60%. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to uh, doing taps here to fine, fine tune this. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so let's see how this works the end of the day. Looks actually not bad. Now being that this is just a small boom, it's a little 24 meter, I would like it to be a little bit quicker on the slewing than say like a 47 or 58 meter pump. So this is decent, and I'll do the rest of this by eye, just looking at the uh, at the end of the boom here. I'm gonna do some taps here, speed it up. One, two, three, four, five. That's a pretty good speed there. Let's go back the other way. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so that's actually really nice. So what we're gonna do now, 
save your settings, hit the e-stop. Once you've hit that e-stop, it's saved. There's no going back. If you don't like the settings or you figure you've screwed up so bad you just want to restart from where you were originally, just take the battery out. That's it. I believe also just turning the power off would achieve the same thing. But I know for certain just pulling the battery out, it will save nothing. But once you've hit that e-stop, it's stored. So I'm confident in these settings we've made, these changes. So we're going to pop that e-stop. And then you can use the Teleteach battery like a regular battery. Just don't hold down the plus minus buttons when you power it up. And now we're going to power this up. Double check that our settings are stored. So I'll try the left right here to start. Perfect, that's where that was. And I'm going to double check in Rabbit here that we're getting maximum travel on that third section. That was the first one that we tuned before we got into the story. So third section up, full travel. Third section down. Full travel, so we're good. That's excellent. So, rapid speed. Make sure your hand valves are opening all the way. Uh, you can tune your engagement points in rapid speed as well. Uh, if you're somebody that likes to run the boom in rapid, uh, I don't, so I'm not really too worried about the engagement points there. It's more in the uh, the snail mode where I find the engagement points are really really critical, uh, as well as the, the settings. Um, this boom here is kind of funny. Some of the sections just mechanically are quite slow on it. Um, so I find that even in snail speed, for instance, for that third section, I've got the, uh, the hand valve tuned to almost maximum travel. Um, most pumps you won't run into that, but this one is kind of like that. They all have their own personality. So just got to play around, do what works for you. Uh, my advice, no matter how much time you spend doing this in the yard, once you get it out on a job site, it's probably not going to be perfect. It's a totally different world when you got a guy at the end of the hose screaming at you. Uh, so just be patient with it. It takes time. And uh, yeah, that is it for today. That is how to tune your HBC 727 dirty ass, in this case, radio control with the Teleteach battery. Goodbye. Like this. So I think I kind of got her set where I want her right now. So this is on uh, turtle here, turtle speed. So I got my slewing nice and progressive lean into the stick and she really takes off nice and slow and then it ramps up almost perfectly my maximum slew my maximum slew speed there at full stretch so i'm actually pretty happy with that we'll go the other way and same speed what I might do actually on this, uh, this left swing, a little bit slow I think, but I'm gonna pump off another load here with the guy in the end of the hose before I start uh, trying to fine tune things further. And then how I have this set on the Z-booms here, what I like to do, I like to be a little bit quicker with my uh, third and fourth sections, because I do, because I pump in a Z formation quite often. Uh, and this pump having short little sections on it, it's also quite forgiving. So I put a little, uh, tune a little bit more speed into my third and fourth sections, just for when I'm working the boom in and out, like so. And I quite often will tune the second section a little bit slower, um, just because when I get stretched right out, you've got that little bit of reach left between the first and second sections. Um, having that second tune slower makes it easy to be smooth as you're trying to extract that last little bit of reach from the pump. I also find because that second section on this remote control is uh, controlled by a twist function, I personally find it a little bit more difficult to be uh, progressive and proportional using the twist function versus just standard up, down, left, right on the sticks. So I kind of take all that into consideration. A lot of this is just really personal preference, um, but I'm really happy with the way this thing is set now. Uh, man, oh man, it was out to lunch. Even on Turtle, the slewing was set to 100 percent the uh the d section the tip section was set to 100 percent um it was just really for such a short little boom uh, i really had a hair trigger on it so i think now it is a lot better uh, but like i said 
probably over the course of the next couple days, next few pours, I'm gonna have to play around with this a bit to really fine tune it. Um, it does take some work and uh, it's one of those things that if it's not your regular pump, you probably don't wanna go in here and start messing with somebody else's settings. You're just gonna piss people off. Uh, there is a way to tune this in this middle setting here, which is user defined. And it's all done with this button here. Uh, that's a whole other procedure. I'm not even gonna get into that. That's like a completely separate video. Um, but you can play around with that uh, if you just want to change things, kind of a, a day of sort of thing. So there are other options. But uh, yeah, I think we're 90% there. We'll do a couple more pours and see how we like it. Um, like I said, this being a little 24 meter boom, way more forgiving. Uh, you're trying to tune a 58 or 52 meter. Uh, it's, there's a lot more uh, precision that has to go into getting those ones just right. But it's also that much more rewarding when you do. Anyhow, that will be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Over and out.